what's up guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is ariana in today's video i'm going to show you how i packed for my thanksgiving trip back to see my parents and i thought i would share with you some tips to be more purposeful and minimal with your packing so that you don't overpack so to jump straight into it, the first tip is to plan ahead, of course. You want to think about the length of your trip and whether you will be able to do laundry or not, um, kind of the weather that you're going to be facing, and if you need to pack any specific outfits for certain events. I'm only going to be away for one week, so this is all that I am bringing, and it will be at my parents' house, so I will be able to use laundry if I need to. And there wasn't really anything else specific uh, in terms of weather or events that I would need, other than the day of Thanksgiving but my family doesn't like dress up very much for that so yeah I basically kept it very simple the next tip is to bring items that are gonna be very versatile because in order to have a lot more outfit options you want to be able to interchange the things that you do bring and that includes accessories that match your clothes as well. Another way you can think about it is kind of having a color scheme or neutrals. That way you'll know each piece can mix and match with the other ones. And this tip actually brings us directly to the next one, which is bringing items that you can actually layer together to create even more outfits. Not only that, but you can also layer up or down depending on changes in the weather. So I pretty much stuck with neutrals, of course, because that's just the easiest. But I do kind of have more of a warmed tone color scheme going on, aside from that one denim button down that's there. Just to show you some examples of how you can layer, this is one of the tops that I'm taking. Just a classic white shirt that goes with pretty much everything. As well as this more neutral toned scarf that's got a light leopard print to it. It's very versatile because it could go with anything that I'm wearing. Button-ups are a great option because you can uh, wear them over top a shirt like this or you can even just button them up and make a whole nother look. And then a lightweight knit is also a great option that you can put over top of a blouse like this as well. And then if you need more warmth, you can always throw a jacket on top. The next tip is a pretty big one. I definitely think bringing more tops than bottoms is a great option because just changing up the top can actually change the whole outfit, but bottoms that, you know, match with everything, nobody really pays attention to those. I honestly think this helps to keep your packing a lot less bulky because a lot of times bottoms are more bulky than tops are. So the only ones I brought for this week trip was a pair of black leggings and a pair of black skinny jeans. But for tops, I brought five of them. So that includes just a simple gray t-shirt, particularly for layering or lounging around. And then that simple white blouse that I mentioned earlier, a denim button down, which is actually one of the things that I wore to the airport, and another button up, this one is longer and patterned, and then a lightweight crew neck sweater. I only brought one jacket for this entire trip because the weather was actually very nice, and the leather one was a good option because it went with everything. And then just one scarf that I mentioned earlier that matches all of the clothes that I'm bringing. And then for shoes, another mini tip, I would think about bringing a nicer pair of shoes and then a more casual pair to be able to dress up or down your outfit. So for me, what I've brought was a pair of thigh-high heeled boots and then a pair of ankle boots. And then I brought one black belt and then underneath it, that's just an undershirt and a sports bra that I'm bringing as well. I think a big part of being able to pack less is really just packing things that you love to wear because that really guarantees that you're gonna enjoy your outfit and not feel stuck wishing you would have brought something else because I know the worst thing is having packed certain clothes and then feeling like you've got nothing to wear and not being happy about it and then you end up going out and purchasing something else and just a whole mess. <laughs> So I really tried to pick out just things that I knew I was going to wear that I actually enjoy that are basics for me. By the way, this is my airport outfit, which I included layering because it's always cold in the airport. And bonus mini tip again, it leaves a lot less that you actually have to pack because you are wearing several of them. I definitely suggest wearing your bulkiest jacket or bringing that along with you. That way you don't have to take up space in your luggage. And then here are just some more sample outfits from the items that I'm bringing so that you can see just how versatile some of these pieces can be.
So for the actual packing, I've got this small little duffel bag and I folded up all of my clothes, kind of Marie Kondo style. And I hadn't shown or mentioned like undergarments, but just as like a separate little tip, I do like to use a separate bag just for those so that you can easily grab them out and they don't get scattered at the bottom of your suitcase. I didn't show you the jewelry I was bringing, but in this little pouch here, I did bring one necklace, a pair of earrings, and then just a simple watch. And then I've got my makeup bag here, not including the liquids. I did have a separate bag that I didn't show, but I have a, one of those TSA approved little pouches for liquids. And then here's the one purse that I am bringing. Again, one that matches with everything. And in here, I will also be taking my laptop, charger, and my bullet journal as well. All right, so that's all that I'm taking in these two bags. Hopefully you guys found that helpful. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you found this helpful down in the comment section. And maybe if you have any other tips that you like to share, definitely leave those down below as well. But other than that, thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.